Good morning, dear friends. We usually post in the morning, so greetings. Good morning to you all. I'm hoping you've been trying out the breakfast recipes I've been sharing. They seem to be quite popular, and I see many of you enjoy making them. Quite a few people have been sending me direct messages on Instagram, thanking me for these breakfast ideas. Today, we will try making another breakfast. It's fairly simple. Sort of like a poached egg. Yes, it's that simple. Even with the hollandaise sauce, or eggs benedict, or a shakshuka, it's quite an easy task. Over a million people have tried out my cheese pancakes and told me it is pretty straightforward. It seems everything is simpler than it appears. Same goes for today's recipe, but with a few of my own tweaks. Let's start. I have three pieces of bread. This bread is made with chia seeds. You can use any type of bread you have at home. Whatever you have stored away in its original packaging, or however you store your bread, we're going to use that. Make sure you carve out the soft, fluffy part from the middle of the bread, because we're making eggs in a basket. Don't rush, or circumflex. I'll tell you a few handy tricks. So what do we do with the scooped out bread, you ask? Well, heat up a pan. Mine had a bit of water in it, so I will give it a bit of time to evaporate. In the meantime, I will cut out the rest of the pieces of bread from the other slices. There, now I have three perfect rings of bread. My bread was rather damp. I prefer purchasing such types. The ones made on 11, the ones that are glossy and have a certain level of moisture. Well, it depends on your preference. Once the residual water has evaporated, add in a nugget of butter, which I'd been turning around in my hands until it managed to hide itself. Toss in the butter and place the bread pieces on the pan. And toast them on high heat until crisp on the outside and soft on the inside. Here's a trick. While they're still browning on one side, you can turn them so some of the melted butter from the pan is shared among all the pieces. Now you can repeat the process Flip them and toast until brown. Here's where it gets interesting. I need two egg yolks separated from the white. I have a couple of small bowls here. Add a drop of oil to each of these. Just enough to ensure that the yolks, which I'm about to put in there, don't stick to the porcelain of the dish. For some reason, yolks have a tendency to stick to such materials. Just like my mom would say, it's the current trend sticking around. Anyways, once your bread pieces are toasted and you've filled your kitchen with the aroma of browned butter and bread, take them out and place them on a paper towel. This absorbs any excess butter and prevents condensation from forming if placed directly on a cold dish. Now we move on to the eggs. Separate the yolks and whites. In goes the yolks, whites follow. Now add a bit of pepper, also a couple of pinches of salt and anything else based on your preference. Personally, I love green onions. I really enjoy the taste of eggs with green onions. Some people prefer adding dill, parsley or cilantro. It's all up to you. Make sure to chop the green onions very thinly. Just like they do it in Asia. Have you ever seen the Japanese cook an omelette? They don't add any extra spices to it. They simply garnish it with green onions. It always turns out looking very satisfying and sexy, just like these eggs. В фарфоровой чашечке снизу нагретые кусочки хлеба не запотевали. Теперь белки вот сюда. Желтки сюда. Все, здесь у нас желтки. Белки. Чуть пи... Чуточку черного перца. Значит, пару щепоток соли. И что-нибудь на ваш вкус. Значит, на мой вкус обязательно зеленый лук. Причем зеленый лук я, например, не жалею. Я люблю яйца со вкусом зеленого лука. Значит, кто-то добавляет укроп, кто-то петрушку, кто-то кинзу. Тут все на ваше усмотрение. Зеленый лучок такой, такой на азиатский манер немножко, знаете. Смотришь, японцев, они омлет жарят. Ничего же не добавляют туда, зараза. Ничего не добавляют, просто зеленый лук. Или сверху посыпают. Получается очень секси, бэби. Яички сексуальные получаются. 
Here we add green onions, dropping a tiny piece of butter on the pan, a very small piece of butter. I have leftovers here of shrimp from past luxury, you could say. It could be ham, bacon, whatever you like, even a few pieces of squid, salmon, fish if you're into that. If you're not, just add any leftover meatballs, minced meat or whatever else you fancy. It's totally up to you. But with the pan, in the case that you have some raw ingredients, you need to give them a quick saute, definitely add a pinch of salt. No blowtorch? I don't have a blowtorch? Maybe for about 30 seconds or a minute on each side. All done, shrimps are ready, and in they go. Wipe the pan with a napkin, chopped up the shrimp, and in they go. Let's taste, it's delicious, and that's... Salfeточкой. Протерли. Кревитосики нарезали мелким кусочком и сюда. Пробуем. Вкусно. И это главное. Add whatever you want, it will taste fabulous. По вкусу будет великолепно. Теперь. Now, send a small piece of butter to the pan. Not much. And you gotta be careful with the pan, so that. Небольшое количество. Сковородку, наверное, ну, надо очень аккуратно, чтобы она не горела. Сливочное масло. Butter can be a bit tricky if you overheat the pan. Everything will catch on fire. Сковородку загорится нафиг все. So now we mix the shrimp with egg whites and green onions, but we don't want to whisk it into froth, you know. Смешиваем, но до пены не надо доводить. You should do this with any spoon, spatula, or whatever, but not with a fork. Even with a spatula, when you stir it, bubbles appear. But we don't need those bubbles, it's better to avoid them. Flip the bread on this side that's already toasted. As you've probably guessed, pour in our filling. If you don't have a lid, and I certainly don't have a lid for this pan, then hey girlfriend, look at me, do as I do, do as I do. We take some aluminum foil and make a lid with it on the lowest heat possible. Nothing should burn underneath, it should bake slowly. If you're wondering what happens if you pour a whole egg in there, the yolk would bake it. Turn white. Some people like that. Don't mind flipping the fried egg yolk down and frying both sides. Yeah, there are lots of people, lots of tastes, but personally, I like the yolk to stay running. So that's how it stays running. Croutons. What do we do with croutons? So, take any cream cheese, spread it randomly over here. Well, you know. To each their own. I don't eat a lot of it. So I just add a tiny bit for some creaminess. Put everything on top and strip. Put it on the bread. The butter fried side will soak up the moisture too fast, giving us some leeway. Of course, you need to do everything real quick while you have well, these skins, I don't really fancy it. Oh, well. Dip it quickly in salt while everything's cooking. Munch, munch, munch. All right, here's what we're going to do. Grab a piece of bread and flip it over. And, whoa, look at how... Nice and toasted it is on this side. You know, this is kind of like a crab omelet. But cheaper. 
You can use these delicious sweet shrimps, Argentinos, Langostinos. They're really tasty and one of my favorites. But if you prefer, you can easily use our normal northern ones, the smaller ones. While they're still hot, I personally would let them cool down first and then add them in. But, you know, we're used to eating scrambled eggs while they're hot and fresh. Anyway, we're going to take these yolks here and if you've greased your surface properly, it shouldn't stick. You just scoop and transfer it over. The finishing touch is a sprinkling of this Kostroma salt on the cucumbers. And you don't need to add any salt here. This shrimp has just the right amount of saltiness. And if you're a little leery about the yolk, you can just take your plate and carefully place the whole thing in the oven at around 100 degrees and let it warm up a bit. If you're feeling a bit iffy about the slightly uncooked egg white, just remember, if you make the toast really hot, then the egg white will start to cook from the heat when they come into contact. But in truth, your whole aim with this recipe is to avoid fully cooked yolks. Of course, if you don't have this aim in mind, you can just go ahead and whisk the eggs, pop them in the oven or under a lid, and then everything's going to turn white. And, you know, like a generic egg white omelet, as bland as those zombie shows I always talk about. Uh -huh. feels like you're cooking for zombies if you do that. Anyways, let's move on to tasting. If we're being totally honest, Toasted bread is just way tastier than non-toasted, fresh cucumbers, all good stuff. It's bomb. The important part here is to cut into it and see that there's... ...that crunch from the bread, which is exactly what we want. Here you can see the shrimp and egg white. Everything is looking and smelling great. It's all... Fresh and tasty. Now moving on to chopping up the dish. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to set this aside so it's not in the way. And then we turn it and cut it in half just to get that egg yolk just start oozing out. Check this out. Looks fantastic, right? Looks like I'll have to spend half the day resharpening my knives. I've ruined them on this. Look at this beauty. Now that's what I call a breakfast. Nice crispy bread. Running yolk. You could also go about it this way. Place it back here. Turn it around like so. Cut into the yolk. Смотрите. Берем. Надрезаем. Let it start running and ooze, 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 spreading all over the bread. And making every bit of the bread eggy and delicious. It doesn't take much time at all. Minus the chit chat. And as long as everything's done carefully, so nothing burns, and that raw yolk just makes everything better. There's really no other words to describe it. Eating a dish like this with the crispy bread and rich egg yolk is just heavenly. Be kind and share this joy with your loved ones at breakfast time. They will be genuinely surprised because it is a scrambled egg dish where you can't see any egg white. It's all inside. Can you imagine their reactions like... Hang on, is it just the yolk? Where's the egg white? Or did you just give us pure yolk? So they will surely ask you to make this again. So come on, fathers, husbands, brothers, sons. Let's surprise the ladies sometimes. After all, it's good to shake things up once in a while and do things out of love. Cheers.